Today we are opening Magician Shadow Mystery Packs. What's up guys, we're back with another epic video. Today we have, as you saw, the Magician Shadow Mystery Packs. I actually started this video off calling them Magician Showdown, had to restart and re-edit that, so that's pretty exciting. We also have a note that I also started reading and realized I was saying the wrong name. Hey Ruxin, have fun opening my Sauce TCG Magician Shadow. This is the part I got to. I was like, Shadow, not Showdown. That's a different name. Mystery Packs, hopefully you pull something better than last time. Chase Cards, MFC Dark Magician Girl. Okay, RDS Dark Magician Girl. LLB Dark Magician, SYE Dark Magician, SDY Dark Magician. BPT Dark Magician, IOC Dark Magician of Chaos, DMG Dark Paladin, PP101 Magician of Black Chaos, MFC Chaos Command Magician, and the Breaker of the Magical Warrior. That's a that's some good chase cards, to be honest. And uh, pretty much every other card that falls under the Dark Magician ethos, multiples everything except the MFC Dark Magician Girl. So there's one, I guess, in the entire thing that he made. He didn't specifically load these for us, supposedly. I mean, we can't really know that for sure. But last time, it felt like it was pretty fair. We got, like, one decent card total. So we'll see what the rest is. Ratio is one per six set packs. Contain a card worth at least $10. Okay, seems all right. Uh, Magician Shadow is limited to 500 packs. So there's 500 total packs. There's one Dark Magician Girl inside. So very cool. Packs are chosen at random. So just because you get six packs doesn't mean you'll get something of the 10 yeah that's how mystery works packs are five dollars a piece or six packs for 25 dollars contact me at sauce tcg instagram so you guys can go check them out there keep in mind that he did send me these for free so i can't control like what he gave me like if he loaded them or whatever but if we do get like the mfc dark magician girl then you know there's only one so keep all that stuff in mind good luck and have fun jesse sauce tcg on instagram i think he is a legit guy though from what i've experienced but keep all that in mind with mystery packs we'll also be opening 10 ghosts from the past just to make this video a little bit you know more content because 10 of these might end kind of quickly so we're gonna alternate between those but yeah definitely keep in mind the stuff about mystery packs like i know that i am technically promoting the the mystery pack so i don't want you guys to think like this is a guaranteed awesome mystery pack you're gonna get your money back all that stuff because you're probably not gonna get your money back that's just how it goes with opening stuff fan rights fog blade very nice a lot of people uh still don't realize that that you're probably not gonna get your money back when opening Yu Gi Oh. i know it kind of happens fortunately for me i am uh, lucky enough to have videos and all that stuff so i get some ad revenue and everything from the videos so it allows me to open more stuff so here we go let's open this up the, the pull tab he upgraded these i think okay nice and clean on the opening i really like the packaging though it's very cool he's putting in some effort on it i like it so let's see what the first card is that is an mrd original print crawling dragon already a cool start we've got a wing weaver let's see uh what would be able to beat the ghost from the past packs that'll be interesting axe dragon newt Thrawn, the Disciple Angel, so you get a guaranteed super and a guaranteed ultra. Let's see what we get. We got a Die Gusto Phoenix. This is a secret rare, but it is Hidden Arsenal, which is basically the high rarity that you get one every pack. Makes sense, Die Gusto Phoenix secret rare. Okay, so uh, I think Phantom Knights of Fogblade is our best card so far. I don't know if, I don't think the Phoenix is worth anything. I could be wrong, though, about that, but I'm pretty sure that the, the Phantom Knights of Fogblade is our best card so far. Time Thief Hack. The Hieratic Sun Dragon Overlord of Hylopolis. We got to get ready for Ghost from the Past, too, guys. I'm just gearing up. So we got Ghost from the Past 1 to help out. Laval Archer. Imagine we pull a Ghost here and it's just like, this is supposed to be about the mystery bags. That would be funny. Next pack, Sauce TCG. Let's see what he can get us. Last time, if you guys missed the last video with that, go check it out. I'll have it pop up on the screen uh, if you guys missed the first time we opened some of these packs. We only got five last time, so it wasn't as many. This time we got 10, which is more exciting. Dimmer Synthesis. Okay. Marincess, Great Bubble Reef, the Headless Knight. That's a speed duel card. Okay. Witchcrafter, Potieri, Potieri, Potori, Potieri. And the Noble Knight of Sheard, Shield Bearer. This is a Seeker Rare from Brothers of Legend. Another card, though, it's like a bunch of Ultras and Seeker Rares, so it's not too crazy to get a Seeker Rare there. Okay, so we're still looking for something good out of those packs. He said one out of every six, so technically, like, we're within the ratio, but obviously, ratios don't, you know, guarantee. It's not just because we have more than six doesn't mean we'll get it. We got the Durandal. Evil Thorn, very nice. We got a Resonator Call, very nice. Galaxy Eye Cypher X, I think it's like a dollar. Oh, that's the last card. Okay, yeah, that's why it's the one that's worth something. Next up, Magician Shadow. I really like the name. I think, honestly, though, I was saying Magician Showdown. I think that's a better name. I mean, I'm not going to lie. I think Magician Showdown would be pretty awesome. I just I just like the feel of it. I don't know. Cyber Arch Fiend. Okay, let me know in the comments if you like Magician Shadow or Magician Showdown better. I, it's up to you guys. Okay, Acrobat Monkey. We got Drag Down to the Grave. This is a DCR card. I kind of forgot, like, how old this card is. That's pretty cool. Mystic Tomato from Dark Saviors. Okay, that's a cool one. Oh! <laughs> and we got one of the good ones. Secret Rare Dark Paladin. Uh, haters will say it's rigged. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. But actually, uh, yeah, we, we got one of the good cards. We got a Dark Paladin. I don't know at what level. This is 
Probably, like, not one of the more expensive ones. I don't know if they're first edition. I know if the MFC Dark Magician Girl is probably not first edition. So this guy looks, like, moderately played, so he's probably not going to be, like, insanely valuable. But that's an insanely cool pull. We will, we will take that. That's got to be one of the rare pulls. I, I would consider it's probably one of the $10 pulls. All right. That's sick. We'll take that. We'll take that for sure. That's amazing. Dark Paladin. I mean, it's one of my... It's not, it's, one of my, it's not one of my favorite cards, but it's up there. You know, it's right on the border. Like, you have your favorite cards, and then you have a lot of cards that you really like. That's one of them. Starry Knight Blast. We got the Hieratic Dragon King of Atum. The Time Thief Redoer. And Starry Knight Arrival. Okay, Starry Knight Arrival has been pulled many a time on this channel. So let's go back to the other one. Uh, I would honestly feel kind of bad if we ended up with a Dark Magician Girl because like then all his other packs are just like, oh, whoops. We just kind of we kind of had a mini reveal there. We got the Karamo. We got the Zing Zen Hu. I always like that card in Duel Links. Chronomaly. And wait, the Gold Rare counts as your Ultra Rare, I guess? I don't know about that one. That one doesn't feel too good. Okay, that's all right. I mean, we're doing fine, though. We've already got a Dark Paladin, so you can't complain. Okay, let's go. We've got a Time Thief Flyback. Volcano Hand, Hand Maiden. Starry Night Blast. And Meteor Black Comet Dragon. Okay, okay. Mystery Packs are super fun to open. You just have to keep in mind, you know, it's handmade, you know? So that anything can really happen, you know? It's it's some craziness can can appear. Generation Shift. we got the Aquest. The Giant Kazaki. Predator Plant, Moray, Nemphithithith. And the... Oh, we got the Genie from Aladdin who ate a little bit too much. All right, that's pretty cool. On to the next Ghost from the Past. What shall we pull? So far, I have not pulled a Ghost out of Ghost from the Past in a very long time. Time Thief Redoer. We've got the Danger Thunder. I think it was the Blue Eyes Alternative that we pulled. Metaphol's Counter. And Thessalos, the Mega Mudark. I think we're around halfway through these opening. This opening. Why did I get so high right there? I don't know. I don't know what was going on there. Okay, let's try not to spoil it this time. It's hard, hard not to spoil gold revs, though. They really, really pop out. Astral Barrier. We got a Sonic Bird from MRL. Love to see it. These are old school commons, which is cool. Level Modulation. Melfi of the Forest. And a Dark Magician of Chaos. So this is probably not on the $10 plus one because it is Yugi's Legendary Dex, but it is one of the cards he listed. So I figured there's like a IOC version, which is the, the big version. So this is a nice card, but it's not one of like the big hits. So still cool, though. All right, we got four packs left of each. Let's do this. We've got the Miracle Synchro Fusion, the Medolce Chateau, the Salaman Great Falco, Metaphors Fusion, and we got a Dragoonity Glow. All right, okay. Dragoonity Glow is chilling over there. It's glowing, but it ain't giving us anything good. So next up, the next Sauce TCG pack, the Magician Shadow, the Bujin Candescence, Star Mine. We got the Terrors of Underroot. Okay, Underroot. That sounds like a Lord of the Rings thing. Gimmick Puppet and an Achichi at Ignister. All right, Achichi at Ignister from the tent. Okay, three packs to go of each. We have three ghosts from the past and three mystery packs to go. I believe we can pull something amazing. We've already pulled the, the, the Dark Paladin, so it's pretty good. Time Thief Perpetua, Hieratic Seal of Supremacy, Starry Knight Astel, and the Starry Knight Arrival. Very nice. Three packs to go. Sauce TCG. Okay, the Puppet Magic of Dark Ruler, the Furious Sea King. That's an L.O.B. common, unfortunately. It, it looks like a reprint. I think it's a reprint. Ancient Gear, the Rank Up Magic Astral Force, and will we pull something crazy? Oh, a Divine Arsenal AA Zoo. So that's probably on the 10 plus dollar. I think it's around 12 bucks. Okay, so a couple big pulls out of there. Nice. That's a very cool one. Last time one of the ones we pulled was Nibiru. So uh, some some cool staples is what we've been pulling out of these. All right, that's pretty good. That's definitely a plus toward the side of the mystery packs for us. Seems like the ratios are fairly consistent. If we get two out of like 12 would be the ratio. So we, if we got 10, that's about right. Sunvine Maiden, Tackle Crusader. We got the Buster Dragoon. The Mist Valley Baby Rock. And the Starry Night Balefire. I feel like I've seen that guy a lot. Okay. Magician Shadow. Let's go, Shadow. The Magicians. Not Shadow the Hedgehog. Here we go. Larvas. Serpent Suppression. That's probably from uh, Tactical... No, it's from Absolute Power Force. Gigant... Gigant... Gigantic Cephalotus. Very nice. Digital Bug Rhino Sebus. Better... Digital Bug Rhino Sebus. There we go. And... Scylla Glare, the Luminous Lunar Dragon. I always look at this thing, I'm like, this is probably worth something, and it's always worth like 10 cents, so it's actually not. Final pack for each. Been a pretty interesting opening. So far, it goes from the past losing yet again because it can just never pull anything good. Let's see if we can pull something good here. The Monarchs are rough. Sun Avalon Dryas. The X Seas Burst. 
Update Jammer. And the Nest Shadal Genius. This used to be eight, nine bucks. It's down at like the dollar, two dollar range, but still a card. And the final Sauce TCG Magician Showdown Pack. One Ultra and one Super in every pack. What will our Ultra and Super be this time? Last time we got something that was like better than an Ultra and Super. It was like two Ultras or something. I don't remember. Maybe it was an Ultra and a Secret. Goki Iron Claw. We got the Gunkin Sushi Ship. Very nice. A Ruxin Special. First one of the day. Okay, on the final pack. It's a bad time to do it. LOB Korean Super Rare. Very cool card. Not too expensive. Let's see what the final one is. Edos? Edios? Eidos? The Underworld Squire. This is Youth for Monarchs. That's a pretty cool card as well. I think we did pretty good on these mystery packs. So if you guys are interested in those, you can go check out his Instagram. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more epic stuff like this. Shout out to TCG, Truster Cards, Tone Fo Show, Tomato Juice, Stanley, Mike Nance, Mimic Gecko, Daxter, Emusa, Junior Barning, and Anatai Show, JT Joe, and Anima of the Hallow. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.